The fifth component of the Tree of Life are the hidden paths or secret paths or technically the unlettered paths. These paths have no set of correspondences um, like all of the other paths have had. They do not have a Hebrew letter associated with them. They've, they're really not mentioned, at least directly, in any of the Kabbalistic literature that I've ever encountered, put it that way. Um, but they are logical connections within the Tree of Life diagram. And with the Gra tree, there are 14 of these so-called hidden paths. Um, they're sort of enigmas. They're, like I said, there is no set of uh, symbols to represent um, these connections. They, like all of the other connections, are about that movement of awareness of the eye awareness within the body of itself, okay? Um, so, in that regard, they dislike the other paths, but they do things that the other paths do not do. Okay, there are four hidden paths that emanate from Kether that span, uh, two of them span uh, one, um, one region, uh, they go from the supernal realm to the mental realm, and the other two go from the supernal realm all the way down to the astral realm. This is a direct connection, okay? That is not apparent in just the lettered paths, okay? <clears throat> then there are three each from Hokma and Bina, okay? that likewise travel between the regions. Now, the ones from Hokma and Bina, uh, one from each of them actually connects directly with Malkuth, which is very significant, very significant. Um, and then Tifret has two that go down to the astral realm, Gedula and Gebura each have one, which goes down into Malkuth, okay? Now, there are two of these hidden paths which are very special. Okay, in general, the hidden paths, well, the ones from Kether, go from the middle pillar outward to the side pillars. Same with the one, with the, the two hidden paths from Tiferet go outward. The hidden paths from Hokma, Bina, Gedula, and Gebura all come inward towards the um, uh, middle pillar, except for two. One from Hokma and one from Bina does something that only the mother letters do. It goes from side pillar to side pillar. Both of those paths span the distance between the supernal realm and the lowest part of the astral realm. Okay? And they cross right over that crossing that I mentioned before, the Aleph Resh crossing, the Aleph, which is the, the mother letter of air between Gejula and Gebura, and Resh, the, the letter of the sun, the planetary letter of the sun, which goes from Tiferet to Yesod. This marks the exact center of the tree of life. And it is also crossed by a hidden path from Hokma all the way down to Hod. There's a special connection between Hokma and Hod, between wisdom and splendor, and between Bina 
And that's uh, another really important connection between uh, Bina and Netzach. They both cross the Alifresh crossing and connect the side pillars, like only the mother letters do, but they do it differently, because they're not only connecting the two side pillars, but they're spanning a great distance through the levels of self-awareness. Okay? So the... <clears throat> The hidden paths, not having any symbol sets ascribed uh, to them, what that really means is that I can't tell you what your experience is going to be of the hidden paths. I can tell you about my experience, but that's not going to be your experience. With the lettered paths, I can tell you pretty much universally what the experience is but that's different with the hidden paths there's something about those particular connections that require uh, you know, personal experience you know it's just no other way to say it it, it requires you to make that shift in awareness for yourself and experience that shift for yourself to really benefit at all from those paths. So, that's all five of the components into this symbol now. And it's a very dense, complex thing, isn't it? You know, it really has all these different layers of meaning they're always revealing themselves to the mind um, so what I will do next in this series is I will essentially build the tree in what I call a creative sequence starts at Kether and works its way path by path down to Malku um, and the last path, Kuf, from Hod, from Hod to uh, <clears throat> Malkuf, okay? Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, it will be you know, a, just a sequential process following how, how the sequence of the tree, the sequence inherent in the structure of the tree builds the tree to this culmination in Malkuth where the whole whole shebang is <laughs> is present in the temporal present moment. Okay? That's next. Bye bye.